Malaysian Chinese cuisine is derived from the culinary traditions of Chinese Malaysian immigrants and their descendants, who have adapted or modified their culinary traditions under the influence of Malaysian culture as well as immigration patterns of Chinese to Malaysia. Because the vast majority of Chinese Malaysians are descendants of immigrants from southern China, Malaysian Chinese cuisine is predominantly based on an eclectic repertoire of dishes with roots from Fujian, Cantonese, Hakka and Teochew cuisines. As these early immigrants settled in different regions throughout what was then British Malaya and Borneo, they carried with them traditions of foods and recipes that were particularly identified with their origins in China, which gradually became infused with the characteristics of their new home locale in Malaysia while remaining distinctively Chinese. For example, Hainanese chicken rice is usually flavored with tropical pandan leaves and served with chili sauce for dipping, and tastes unlike the typical chicken dishes found in Hainan Island itself. Some of these foods and recipes became closely associated with a specific city, town or village, eventually developing iconic status and culminating in a proliferation of nationwide popularity in the present day. Chinese food is especially prominent in areas with concentrated Chinese communities, at roadside stalls, hawker centers and capitium, as well as smart cafes and upmarket restaurants throughout the nation. Many Chinese dishes have pork as a component ingredient, but chicken is available as a substitution for Muslim customers from the wider community, and some Chinese restaurants are even halal certified. List of dishes found in Malaysian Chinese cuisine Bak Kut Teh, Chinese, Rugu Cha, pork ribs soup. The root meaning for the dish. Bak Kut. Hokkien dialect, is the term for meaty ribs, at its simplest cooked with garlic, dark soy sauce and a specific combination of herbs and spices which have been boiled for many hours. Popularly regarded as a health tonic, this soup is historically eaten by hard-working Chinese coolies working on the wharfs at Port Swettenham, now Port Klang, and clearing estates, accompaniment with strong tea. T-E-H on the side, there are some differences in seasoning amongst other Chinese communities. The Teochew prefer a clear broth which is heavier on garlic and pepper, while the Cantonese may include additional varieties of medicinal herbs and spices. Variations include the so-called chick cut teh, made with chicken and a version that is gaining popularity with Muslim diners, seafood back cut teh, and a dry, reduced gravy, version which originated from the town of Klang. Bakwit Chinese, Rugan literally. Dried meat. Bakwa is better understood as barbecued meat jerky. While this delicacy is especially popular during the Chinese New Year celebration period, it is available everywhere and eaten year-round as a popular snack. Bean Sprouts Chicken, Chinese, Ya Kai Ge Po's most well-known dish, Bean Sprouts Chicken consists of poached or steamed chicken accompanied with a plate of blanched locally grown bean sprouts in a simple dressing of soy sauce and sesame oil. The crunchy and stout texture of Po grown bean sprouts is attributed to the mineral-rich properties of local water supplies. The dish is usually served with HOR fun noodles in a chicken broth, or plain rice. Beaufort Mi Chinese, Bao Fu Chao Mian is a speciality of Beaufort Town. Handmade noodles are smoked, then wok tossed with meat, usually slices of char shao and marinated pork, or seafood and plenty of choy sum, and finished off with a thick viscous gravy. Cantonese fried noodles, Chinese, Huang Fu Chao refers to a preparation of noodles which are shallow or deep fried to a crisp, then served as the base for a thick egg and cornstarch white sauce cooked with sliced lean pork, seafood, and green vegetables like choy sum. A related dish called Hua Tan Hor, Chinese, Hua Dan He uses Hor fun noodles, but the noodles are not deep fried, merely charred. Another variation called yuan yang, Chinese, yuan yang involves mixing both crisp fried rice vermicelli as well as hor fun to form a base for the sauce. Chai to kue, Chinese, kai tu guo a common dish in Malaysia made of rice flour. It also known as fried radish cake, although no radish is included within the rice cakes, save perhaps the occasional addition of preserved radish, Chinese, kai pu during the cooking process. Seasonings and additives vary from region, and may include bean sprouts and eggs. Char Kui Tiao Chinese, Chao Guo Tiao Chao Hei, stir-fried rice noodles with bean sprouts, prawns, eggs, duck or chicken, chives and thin slices of preserved Chinese sausages. 
Cockles and lardons were once standard offerings, but mostly relegated to optional additions these days due to changing taste preferences and growing health concerns. Penang-style char kuei tiao is the most highly regarded variant both in Malaysia as well as abroad. Chi chung fun, Chinese, zu chong fen is square rice sheets made from a viscous mixture of rice flour and water. This liquid is poured onto a specially made flat pan in which it is steamed to produce the square rice sheets. The steamed rice sheets is rolled or folded for ease in serving. It is usually served with tofu stuffed with fish paste. The dish is eaten with accompaniment of semi-sweet fermented bean paste sauce, chili paste or light vegetable curry gravy. Ipo and Penang have different versions of the dish as well. Certain stalls in Ipo serve the dish with a red sweet sauce, thinly sliced pickled green chilies and fried shallots, while in Penang, a type of sweet black shrimp sauce called hei ko is the main condiment. Chun Jen, Chinese, Dan Wan is an oblong roll of seasoned ground pork or beef wrapped with a thin omelet and steamed. The name is derived from the Hakka word for egg, which is pronounced as Chun. Today it is available beyond Tenem, its place of origin, and found throughout Sabah's Chinese communities. It may be eaten on its own, cooked in broth or soup, and stir-fried with noodles or vegetables. Chicken rice, Chinese, Jifan chicken rice is one of the most popular Chinese-inspired dishes in Malaysia. Hainanese chicken rice, Chinese, Hainan Jifan is the best-known version. It is prepared with the same traditional method used for cooking wanchong chicken, which involves steeping the entire chicken at sub-boiling temperatures within a master stock until cooked, to ensure the chicken meat becomes moist and tender. The chicken is then chopped up, and served with a bowl or plate of rice cooked in chicken fat and chicken stock, along with another bowl of clear chicken broth and a set of dips and condiments. Sometimes the chicken is dipped in ice to produce a jelly-like skin finishing upon the completion of the poaching process. In Malacca, the chicken rice is served shaped into balls. Curry mi, Chinese. Kali, a bowl of thin yellow noodles mixed with bihan in a spicy curry soup enriched with coconut milk, and topped with tofu puffs, prawns, cuttlefish, chicken, long beans, cockles and mint leaves, with sambal served on the side. It is often referred to as curry laksa. Fish ball, Chinese, yu wan yu dan yu yuan or fish paste shaped into a spherical shape. Usually fish ball is served as a condiment together with rice vermicelli or yellow noodles in a clear soup base. Bean sprouts and spring onions are also commonly added, complemented by a small plate of chili patty soaked in soy sauce. Fish cake is also a common addition. Fish head bihan, Chinese, yu tu mi, a noodle soup in which the main ingredients are rice vermicelli and a deep fried fish head cut into chunks. The soup itself is somewhat creamy, which is usually achieved using a mixture of rich fish stock and milk. Tomatoes and pickled vegetables are sometimes added to cut the richness and provide a tangy foil for the noodle soup. Fuzhou cuisine can be found in the Sidiawan area, as well as several cities and towns in Sarawak where the Hukchu diaspora have formed settlements. Well-known specialities include Ang Jiao Mi Sua Chinese, Hong Sao Mi and Xi'an and Kampyang or Kampia Chinese. Guang, Hakka Mi, Chinese, Ke Jia Mi and Hakka Mi is a simple dish of noodles topped with a ground meat gravy. A popular hawker dish with Hakka cultural roots, it is based on an older recipe called Dabumian, Chinese, Dabu Mian the name indicates its place of origin as Dabu County, Chinese, Dabu Xi'an the center of Hakka culture in mainland China. Hiang Peng, Chinese, Shangbing These fragrant pastries, which resemble slightly flattened balls, are a famed speciality of Ipo. It contains a sweet sticky filling made from malt and shallots, covered by a flaky baked crust and garnished with sesame seeds on the surface. Hokkien Mi, Chinese, Fujian Chao Mi and actually has two variants, with each being ubiquitous to a particular region of peninsular Malaysia. Penang Hokkien Mi, colloquially referred to in Penang as Hokkien Mi, is also known as Hei Mi, Chinese, Sha Mian in other parts of Malaysia. One of Penang's most famous specialties, it is a noodle soup with yellow and rice noodles immersed in a spicy stock made from prawns and pork, chicken for halal versions, and garnished with a boiled egg, poached prawns, chopped kongkun and a dollop of sambal. 
Hokkien char mee, a dish of thick yellow noodles braised, fried with thick black soy sauce and added with crispy lardons, is more commonly served in the Klang Valley. It was originally developed in Kuala Lumpur. Thus, within central peninsular Malaysia, the term Hokkien mee refers to this particular version. Po white coffee, Chinese. Yi bao bai ka, a popular coffee drink which originated in Ipo. Unlike the robust dark roast used for typical Malaysian style black coffee. Kopi o. White. Coffee is produced with only palm oil margarine and without any sugar and wheat, resulting in a significantly lighter roast. It is typically enriched with condensed milk prior to serving. Kam hiang, Chinese, jin shang literally. Golden fragrance. In English, Kam Hiang is a method of cooking developed in Malaysia, and is a good example of the country's culinary style of mixing cultures. The tempering of aromatics with bird's eye chilies, curry leaves, crushed dried shrimp, curry powder, oyster sauce and various other seasonings yields a versatile stir-fry sauce that goes well with chicken, clams, crabs, prawns, and squid. Kolo mi or mi kolak, Chinese, gan lao mian is a dish of springy egg noodles tossed in a sweet and savory shallot, lard and vinegar dressing, and topped with seasoned minced pork and char shao. It is similar to peninsular style hakka mi or wonton mi in concept, but differs significantly in taste profile. A popular variant uses rendered oil from cooking char shao to flavor kolo mi instead of plain lard, which gives the noodles a reddish hue. Halal versions of kolo mi replace the pork components with beef, earning the moniker of mi sapi, or chicken, and lard with peanut or vegetable oil. Additional toppings may include mushrooms, chicken and crab meat. Kampua mi, Chinese, gan pan mian is a similar dish from Cebu of Fuzhou origin. Kuching laksa or laksa Sarawak, Chinese, gu jin la sha is noodles, usually rice vermicelli, served in an aromatic spiced coconut milk soup, topped with shredded chicken, shredded omelet, bean sprouts, prawns, and garnished with coriander. This famous Sarawak dish looks like curry laksa however the Sarawak's version is subtler and more flavorful. It is made using a laksa paste consisting of sambal belican, tamarind, lemongrass, herbs and spices with a little coconut milk thus giving it a fine balance of aromatic herbs and spices with a kind hint of sour and spicy note while presenting a soft but not overly rich creamy broth. Kuei chap, Chinese. Guo, Teochew dish of rice noodle sheets in a dark soy sauce gravy, served with pork pieces, pig offal, tofu products and boiled eggs. Lor bak, Chinese, lu ru a fried meat roll made from spiced minced pork and chopped water chestnuts rolled up in soya bean curd sheets, and deep fried. It is usually served with small bowl of lor, a thick broth thickened with corn starch and beaten eggs, and chili sauce. The term also extends to other items sold alongside the meat rolls, like dao kwa, hard tofu, pork sausages, tofu skin sheets etc. Lor mi, Chinese, lu, a bowl of thick yellow noodles served in a thickened gravy made from eggs, starch and pork stock. Marmite chicken, Chinese, ma mi ji a unique dish of marinated fried chicken pieces glazed in a syrupy sauce made from marmite, soy sauce, maltose and honey. This dish may also be prepared with other ingredients like pork ribs and prawns. Mi Hailam, Chinese, Hainan Mian stir fried egg noodles with meat or seafood and copious amounts of vegetables, bathed in a gravy seasoned with dark soy sauce and calamansi lime. It is an ubiquitous menu item in Hainanese run eateries and restaurants. Ngah, Po Fan or Sha Po Fan, Chinese, Wa Bao Fan or Sha Bao Fan, seasoned rice cooked in a clay pot with secondary ingredients, and finished with soy sauce. A typical example is rice cooked with chicken, salted fish, Chinese sausage, and vegetables. Clay pots are also used for braising noodles, meat dishes and reducing soups. Ngiu chap, niu shain is a Chinese-influenced dish of beef broth served with noodles, usually dunked in the soup with poached beef slices, meatballs, stewed brisket, tendon, liver and various offal parts. An iconic Sabahan dish, Ngiu Chap has many different variations, from the lighter Hainanese style to heartier Hakka-influenced flavors, and even village-style Ngiu Chap adapted for indigenous Sabahan tastes. 
Oyster omelet or o chian, Chinese, hao jian a medley of small oysters is sautéed on a hot plate before being folded into an egg batter, which then has moistened starch mixed in for thickening, and finally fried to a crisp finish. Unlike other versions of oyster omelets found throughout the Hokkien and Teochew diaspora, a thick savory gravy is never poured onto Malaysian-style oyster omelets, a chili sauce is provided on the side for dipping instead. Pan mi, Chinese, ban mi and noodle soup with hand kneaded and torn pieces of noodles or regular strips of machine pressed noodles, with a toothsome texture not unlike Italian pasta. A variant popular in the Klang Valley is known as chili pan mi, in which of cooked noodles served with minced pork, a poached egg, fried anchovies, and fried chili flakes, which are added to taste. Chili pan mi is accompanied with a bowl of clear soup with leafy vegetables. Papaya, Chinese, bao bing hokkien, teochew style crepe stuffed and rolled up with cooked shredded tofu and vegetables like turnip and carrots. The Peranakan version contains julienne bangkwang, hikama, and bamboo shoots, and the filling is seasoned with tauchu, fermented soybean paste, and meat stock. Another variation consists of papaya doused in a spicy sauce. Papaya can also be deep fried and served in a manner similar to the mainstream Chinese spring roll. Sang nyuk mian, Chinese, sheng ru mian is a dish of noodles served with pork broth, originating from Tawau. Very popular with the non-Muslim communities of Sabah, it is named after the poached to order slices of tender marinated pork served in pork broth which is flavored with fried lard bits. The noodles, usually thick yellow noodles, are either dressed in dark soy and lard, or dunked into the soup along with the aforementioned pork slices, vegetables, meatballs and offal. Seremban Su Pao, Chinese. Fu Rong Shao. The town of Seremban, the state capital of Negri Sembilan, is famous for its Su Pao, a flaky oven baked pastry bun with a treacly barbecue pork and green pea filling. Chicken fillings are available as a halal option. Teochew porridge, Teochew porridge or mui, Chinese, mi is a type of rice porridge or soup. Unlike kanji, teochew porridge is thin and watery in texture, with visible rice grains sitting loosely at the bottom of the bowl. Eaten as a substitute for plain cooked rice instead of a complete meal by itself, it is served with an assortment of side dishes like vegetables, meat and salted egg. At eateries specializing in teochew porridge, one can find a buffet spread of at least a dozen different dishes to choose from. Some variant recipes add sweet potatoes or even shark meat to the porridge during the cooking process. Tao Sar Pneah, Chinese, Dosha Bing, a famous Penang delicacy. This round shaped Chinese pastry is made of wheat flour, sugar, green bean paste, fried onions, lard, and salt. It is also known as Tamban biscuits as the pastry was believed to be invented in Bukit Tamban, Penang. Its popularity as a delicacy has made this biscuit one of the must buy souvenirs from Penang. Tomato Kui Tiao, Chinese, Jia Ji Guo Tiao Kui Tiao noodles stir fried with sweet tomato gravy, meat, usually chicken pieces, eggs, and vegetables. A popular dish in Chinese restaurants throughout Sarawak. Another variant, Chinese, Jia Ji Mian, utilizes egg noodles which have been fried to a crisp, and then immersed with the gravy and ingredients. Tuaran mi, Chinese, do ya lan mian is a speciality of Tuaran town. This dish of wok fried fresh handmade noodles is well known in the nearby city of Kota Kinabalu as well as in neighboring Tamparuli town, where the localized adaptation is called Tamparuli mi, Chinese. Dan bo luo li chao sheng. The noodles must first be toasted with oil in the wok to prevent it from clumping together, then blanched to reduce the stiff crunchy texture from toasting. The final step involves stir-frying the noodles to a dry finish with eggs, vegetables, and meat or seafood. Wonton mi, Chinese, yun tun mi and thin egg noodles with wonton dumplings, Chinese, yun tun choy sum and char shao. The dumplings are usually made of pork or prawns and typically boiled or deep-fried. The noodles may be served in a bowl of broth with dumplings as in the traditional Cantonese manner, but in Malaysia it is more commonly dressed with a dark soy sauce dressing, with boiled or deep-fried wonton dumplings as a topping or served on the side in a bowl of broth. Variations of this dish are usually in the meat accompaniments with the noodles. These may include roast pork, shao ru braised chicken feet, and roast duck. Shao, yam rice, Chinese, yu tu fan savory rice dish cooked with taro, Chinese sausage, chicken, dried prawns and mushrooms. 
It is often served as an accompaniment for dishes like bak ka teh or yang tao fu. Yao zha gui or eu char kui or yu tiao, Chinese, yu zha gui or yu tiao, a version of the traditional Chinese crueler, which is a breakfast favorite. It can be eaten plain with a beverage like coffee and soy milk, spread with butter or kaya, or dipped into kanji. It is shaped like a pair of chopsticks, stuck together. The name itself amusingly translates into greasy fried ghosts. Yang Tao Fu, Chinese, Niang Dou Fu tofu products and vegetables like brinjals, ladies' fingers, bitter gourd and chilies stuffed with fish or pork paste. Originally developed in Ampang, Selangor, it is a localized adaptation of a Hakka dish called Nagong Chu Fu, stuffed tofu with ground pork paste, and is usually served in a clear broth. Yusheng Chinese, Yusheng a festive raw fish salad, also pronounced Yi Sang in the Cantonese manner. While raw fish preparations are thought to have existed in China during antiquity and can be found in the Chaoshan region of Guangdong Province in modern times, Yusheng was created and developed in Singapore in 1964 when the republic was still a member state of the Federation of Malaysia. It consists of strips of raw fish tossed at the dining table with shredded vegetables, crispy tidbits and a combination of sauces and condiments. Yusheng literally means raw fish, but since fish is commonly conflated with its homophone. Abundance. Yusheng, Yusheng is interpreted as a homophone for Yusheng, Yusheng meaning an increase in abundance. Therefore, Yusheng is considered a symbol of abundance, prosperity and vigor. As a result, the mixing and tossing of Yusheng with chopsticks and the subsequent consumption of the salad has become ritualized as part of the commemoration of Chinese New Year festivities in Malaysia and Singapore. Zongzi Chinese, Zongzi a traditional Chinese food made of glutinous rice stuffed with savory or sweet fillings and wrapped in bamboo, reed, or other large flat leaves. They are cooked by steaming or boiling, and are a feature of the Duanwu festival, which is still celebrated by the Chinese communities in Malaysia. Chinese Guo Chinese Kuih, written as Guo, Guo or sometimes as Gao. Gao are usually made from ground rice flours. Many of the Q are made especially for important festivities such as the Qingming Festival or Chinese New Year, however many others are consumed as main meals or snack on a daily basis. Example of these Q include Nian Gao, Nian Gao known in the Hokkien language as Ti Kue. Tian Guo Kao Zai Guo, Sao Zi Guo pronounced in Hokkien as Sao Hua Kue, Chao A Ke, also known as Sukuk Kue, Shuku Guo Chu Kak Ke, from the herb it is made from. Turnip cake, Kai Tu Guo Kai Tu Gao, eaten straight, pan fried, or stir fried with egg as Chai To Kue. Taro cake, Yu Guo Yu Gao Shui Kue, Shui Guo Teochu term, which literally translates as water rice cake. Fun Guo Fen Guo Red Tortoise Cake Hong Gui Guo pronounced as Ang Ku Kue Many Chinese Q require the use of a Q mold similar to that used in mooncakes, which is either carved out of wood or made of plastics. Q molds with turtles are ubiquitous, though molds of peaches are usually quite common. Red-colored turtle Q are known especially as Ang Ku Kue Red Tortoise Cake Hong Gui Guo. Since many Chinese no longer make queue at home, these molds have become less common in many kitchens. Desserts and sweets Bubor Cha Cha, a nyanya dessert of bananas, sweet potatoes, taro, black-eyed beans and sago pearls cooked in pandan-flavored coconut milk. May be served hot or cold. Leng Chi Kong, a mixture of cooked ingredients immersed in a sweet soup. Ingredients vary greatly depending on the cook, but lotus seed is always the primary ingredient, and the soup may include dried longan, white fungus, barley, kambang samankuk jelly and rock sugar as secondary ingredients. Leng chi kong may be served warm or cold. Mooncake Chinese, yu bing round or rectangular pastries with a rich thick filling, traditionally eaten during the mid-autumn festival and accompanied with Chinese tea. 
Both the traditional baked mooncake and the snowskin version are popular and widely available in Malaysia during the festival season. Muar chi, Chinese, masi glutinous rice ball lumps coated in a sweetened mixture of pulverized peanuts and sesame seeds, and served with toothpicks. Tangyan Chinese, Tang Yuan or Tang Yuan, plain white or colored sweet dumplings made from glutinous rice flour. Traditionally homemade and eaten during Yuangxiao, Chinese, Yuan Shao as well as the Dongzi Festival, Chinese, Dongji Tangyan is now available year-around sold as dessert. Tangyan dumplings with filling are usually served in a lightly sweetened clear syrup, while unfilled ones are served as part of a sweet dessert soup. Tao Fu Fa or Dou He, Chinese, Dou Fu Wa or Dou Wa, a velvety pudding of very soft silken tofu, traditionally flavored with a brown sugar syrup. UFO tart, Chinese, Niu Shi Dui, this consists of a flat thin base of baked mini butter sponge cake, topped with a creamy egg custard, which is in turn crowned with a meringue slurry. Its name in Chinese has a literal means, cow pile dung, which alludes to the piped shape of the cake base. S toppings and the meringue. S darker shade as a result of caramelization. Popularized by a Hainanese bakery in Sandakan in the 1950s, the popularity of these treats has spread to Kota Kinabalu and several other towns in Sabah. Vegetarian cuisine Over 80% of Malaysian Chinese identify themselves as Buddhists, and some follow a vegetarian diet at least some of the time. Some Chinese restaurants offer an exclusively vegetarian menu, Chinese, sushi jai, featuring Chinese dishes which resemble meat dishes in look and even taste, like roast pork, fried fish, with skin, and bones, and chicken drumsticks, complete with a bone. These vegetarian restaurants are run by proprietors who abstain from consumption of animal products as well as strong tasting vegetables and spices as way of life for religious reasons, and are essentially vegan. The meat analogues used are often locally produced as opposed to imported, and are made solely from ingredients like soy, gluten, mushrooms and tuber vegetables. Buddhist vegetarian restaurants are likely to be found in areas with a high concentration of Chinese, and tend to be especially busy on certain festive days where many Buddhists temporarily adopt a strict vegetarian diet for at least a day. See also Indonesian Chinese cuisine Peranakan cuisine References